And we'll do our little yard sale vlog. It's Saturday. I went out for about two hours. I hit about 20 yard sales. And one guy had a bunch of um, machine shop stuff. Um, too big for what I use. But one of the pieces that were in there were these uh, old safety goggles. And I thought they would probably look pretty cool on the board track racer style bike. And if I dare to run around at the uh, car show or something, I'll put those on. Look the part. And out to the sun. Got goodies. Uh, one was uh, this lawnmower sitting out there, and uh, the guy was hanging out talking to a buddy. And I pulled up. I said, "Is that where you stop cutting your lawn, or are you getting rid of that?" He says, "I'm getting rid of that. Just put it out there." And he said, "The pull cord just crapped out on it." So uh, he goes, "It runs. Just uh, I bought a rider, and I don't want to deal with it anymore." So I took that for free. And then we got uh, this little wooden box here. And it's uh, nothing fancy, but I figured for the back of the uh, trike on the luggage rack, I could put that on there and uh, use that for putting the helmets in or whatever storage when you go riding. And then it was this guy. It's a Minn Kota 27 pound thrust um, trolling motor. That was five bucks. And I think one of the ed blades of the proper chipped. Yeah, it's much shorter on one than the other. But other than that, why it's four-wheel drive, I don't know. <laughs> and then there was this uh, little baggie of uh, uh, pool balls for a buck. I figured I'd grab them and I can kind of you know, make knobs or shifters or whatever out of them. I kind of like the size of those for in the hoard. And then there was this pile of wire and this controller. And a moving sail. Not sure what that would be used for. Speaker. But uh, I grabbed it for the, the cabling and the wire. That's a 220, you got four strands on that. It probably looks like it's probably about 25 feet on that one. And then this roll is a three in the ground. And that probably looks like it's probably again another 25, 30 feet, something like that. And then just regular. Right, 10, uh, 12, 2 or 12, 3. And uh, there's, I don't know, maybe 40 feet out of there. So all that was five bucks. So I figure uh, this stuff's like five bucks a foot right here alone. So that's good for uh, uh, making an extension cord for the welder or um, maybe running the uh, back pin uh, plug for a generator. And this guy. It says 50 bucks firm, but I guess after nobody was giving him what he wanted for it, he was taking offers. So for 30 bucks, I went and I grabbed this, and this is one of those angled uh, drills for like when you want to go drill through between joists and you're running plumbing or whatever. And they came with all the bits that you see here in it. So all the whole saw bits goes all the way up to four, I think four inch. To what brand these are. I think these might be halfway decent. I'm not sure. Yeah, so that looks like it's pretty much the full set right there. And again, that was 30 bucks. So that's a steal in itself, right? Though. Those are expensive. It's about 300 bucks for one of those. So for 10 cents on a dollar, I can't complain. And I think one more piece in here would be uh, this chainsaw. It is a steel, or steel, however you print it care to pronounce it. It has good compression. But I just see the chain is knocked off of it. I had the feeling the chain probably popped off and then they put it away and stopped using it. Um, I'm sure it's going to need to be having a carb kit probably put in it, but uh, I grabbed that for five bucks too. I figured why not. And then that was in a free pile and it's metal, so I figured I'd throw that in my hoard for funky things to make stuff out of. So that's those guys. And then about a day or two before, I was coming back from a, uh, a cruise night and uh, this craftsman was out. It says, I can't get to run. 150 bucks. It looks like a fairly clean, uh, clean and decent tractor. 
Um, he tried a bunch of stuff to get it run. It cranks over and all. Uh, you can tell he was in it though. It's missing the hardware. Well, the bolts are missing on the cover back here. And then I asked him, I go, did it have a mouse nest in it? He's like, yeah, it did. I go, yeah, probably overheated and blew the head gasket after I bought it. So I paid a hundred bucks for this. And uh, judging by the gunk that's leaking down around the head, I bet you that's what the problem is. You can even see the brief and the mouse nest still in there. So uh, you can try to plug, try taking a fuel filter out of it, try a bunch of different things. But uh, more than likely, that's going to be what the issue is on um, that. Doesn't sound knocky or it does have a little compression, probably not enough to run it though. He said he can get the like, cough and fire and sputter a little bit, but it would die. So that's that, that indication on that. That's it. Just a little quickie, kind of show you uh, what uh, came about. Actually, I don't know if I, I think I quickly showed these. This was on the side of the road and trash day. It's had a saddlebags for what? I'm not sure, but they look pretty cool. And uh, they have road rash and stuff on them, so somebody probably just bought some new bags. They were in a rich neighborhood and just threw the old ones out. And I figure I could use the bags. If I don't, I like those taillights on there. I think those are kind of cool, and I may even just use those for another project. But we'll see. And they were free, and I'm a hoarder, and you know how that works. Alright, thanks.